Hi, I'm Chris Van Hollen. I'm a member of Congress uh, representing Maryland's 8th District. And I want to thank Ernest and others uh, for their question about what we're doing to help small businesses, especially small businesses that help support our national security and our armed forces. Uh, first, uh, we have to recognize, all of us, uh, that small businesses are the backbone of our community and our economy. Those are the jobs generators. If small business is not healthy, the economy is not healthy. So one of the things we've been focused on is during this time of economic downturn, when it's been more difficult in many cases for small businesses to get access to capital and loans, to try and change some of the laws to allow uh, small banks, community banks, and others to loan small businesses money on better terms uh, by getting the Small Business Administration to help. Uh, and working with President Obama and his administration, uh, we've passed about 17 measures uh, that would improve access to capital uh, for small businesses by working through the Small Business Administration. More loan guarantees and again better terms on loans to try and get the capital flowing. Uh, we've got a long way to go but we are making progress on that and there are signs that the fragile economy is beginning to improve although not nearly as fast as we would like to see it. Uh, the Democrats also have put together what we call our Making in America agenda. Make it in America agenda. Uh, to try to invest more here at home in the United States, whether it's in infrastructure, roads, bridges, the infrastructure that we need to modernize, or the infrastructure of the, this century, uh, broadband, uh, electronic health records, uh, all sorts of other things, and especially in the clean energy space, where instead of sending $700 billion a year overseas to purchase foreign oil, we invest that money right here at home in other clean energy sources. And that has huge potential uh, for all sorts of uh, small businesses, uh, whether it's trying to make better, find more sources of renewable energy, or just make homes and buildings more energy efficient through different retrofits. So those are things we're doing for small businesses across the board. Uh, I'm very proud of a local initiative uh, that I've been working on. Uh, called the Veterans Institute of Procurement, VIP program. And it's a program that was developed by the Montgomery County, Maryland Chamber of Commerce to say to vets uh, who are also small business owners, we're going to open the door of opportunity to you for, for more federal contracts. And these are individuals who have been members of the armed services themselves and therefore have a very keen understanding about what needs to be done to help uh, armed services through their small business uh, products. Uh, and so we're trying to focus on them specifically as we continue to broaden the availability of federal contracts to more and more small businesses. Right now there's about a hundred billion dollars a year of federal contracts uh, to small businesses. We're trying to increase the opportunity of small businesses for those contracts by cracking down on what's called uh, bundling. Uh, because when you bundle a lot of contracts for small businesses into one, it often means that only a big contractor uh, can win those contracts. And so we're trying to allow those to be broken up into smaller pieces in a way that gets better value for the, the taxpayer uh, and allows more small businesses to compete. So again, I just want to underscore the reality that if we want to get the economy going, we need a healthy small business sector. We need to make sure you have access to capital. Uh, we need to make sure that the federal uh, procurement space is even more hospitable to small businesses. And with respect to uh, those that are focused on uh, the armed services, uh, we need to make sure that we do all those things for those uh, contractors. But I think that we owe our veterans uh, a special effort, and that's why the VIP program is so important. It opens the door to uh, those veteran-owned small businesses to try and get uh, contracts, especially in the area of their expertise, which is with respect to supporting the military. So again, Ernest, thank you for your question, and I welcome any ideas you or anybody else have uh, as to how we can further strengthen and support uh, small businesses uh, throughout our community, throughout our economy. Thank you.